Hi everyone. Hope you're all doing very well. Oh, I better take these off otherwise you, you hear it going back at you and it's not a very good thing is it when it comes back at you like that. Right this is a time for self-reflection. Do you ever think uh, about your time that you started posting or you started to become more of an activist since leaving? Do you ever self-reflect and, uh, and have a flick through what you've got up to in the last five years or I don't know you might have been out longer than that or you might have only been posting for say five years let me give you an example of what I mean do you ever go through your collection and go right back to the beginning of when you sent your first post well I thought I'd do that today because my first post uh, was six years ago it's quite a while ago that six years ago and it was entitled jw banter is hurtful and designed to put you down and i gave a true life account of how i was put down with this banter and uh what i said was true because you know me i wouldn't deliberately make anything up if it wasn't true that wouldn't be something that i would like to do and uh since then i went on to talk about uh, my second video the jw marking process a lot of people don't understand how that works so i explained that then i went into the apostasy because i could see that apostasy was taking root and it was uh, it was prophesied in the last days that apostasy would be something that comes before the end so we've had this apostasy or we're in we're still in the middle of it or maybe apostasy is starting to sort of level out and plateau out a bit because it doesn't seem to be as uh, as uh, stark and severe as I remember it five or six years ago. So maybe, maybe people have got all the answers that they need at the moment and they're not looking for any more. And then after, uh, a few months after that, I did uh, one on Tony Morris. Um, basically just to tell Tony Morris that uh, apostate driven lies were no more and this was in, in relation to the Jeffrey Jackson and the child and what he said really on the stand uh, you know about them um, only being spirit directed and, and not anointed and so that video was about me sending a reply back to Tony Morris not that he was ever going to listen to it you know but it just makes you feel good doesn't it and then i did one about um the 1969 melbourne assembly when i met nathan noor and um i was a young lad very young but i have some really really funny memories of that assembly and i did a video to explain that and then i think i did one about genesis 315 because i knew that there were two seeds they'd be sworn enemies in the time of the end and, and satan's seed would do everything absolutely everything he could to undermine the success of the seed of god's woman genesis 3 15. and of course that is cross-referenced with revelation 12 1 where it talks about the dual headdress woman in the heavens that's god's woman and that's a symbolic reference um not a literal woman in the heavens but a symbolic reference and that is god's woman of genesis 315 that's the prophecy and that's how you to understand it even if people tell you no it's earthly eve it is not it is not earthly eve and and then i did one about um when tony morris was given the bethelites an ear bashing about masturbation i did one about that uh in fact i just Bring it in for a sec, a little. Let's Did put it back to the beginning. Hey, everybody. How's everybody doing? I've just uh, moved all my gear up to the loft. Uh, got a bit, lot more room now. And I've put an aerial camera up here. So when I'm doing some weights, I can see myself. Uh... We'll just stop it there. So that was just the introduction to that one that i was um directing to uh, anthony morris the third because he gave him a real ear bashing didn't he 
because it had come out that masturbation was becoming a bit of a problem and it was known as Pillagate, wasn't it? And uh, a lot of people did a lot of videos about it. And uh, I just turned it into some comical reference about it. It's the way I saw it. You know, I, I was more or less giving Mr. Morris an ear bashing because he wasn't giving him a gym membership, was he? You know, I mean, that's what we were told when we were growing up. You know, if you've got like frustrating feelings when you're growing up and you want to control those feelings, you know, we used to go out for recreational pursuits, go for a run, football or anything, but he didn't even offer him a gym membership. And uh, he certainly didn't give him boxing gloves in the evening to stop themselves uh, tampering with themselves. So he didn't really offer any practical advice other than give them an ear bashing. And uh, I found that that wasn't the way to go. You know, it just wasn't the way to go. And I said so in this video. I might have to dance it a bit. Anyway, first Timothy, for all right. Bodily training is beneficial a little. Did you ever notice when that, that does get you down? I, I've never gone to Bethel. Um, didn't want to. Yeah, I, I never pursued an education it's not my problem your your use has all been used up we have no further need of your services and you're not even getting a reference so you can't go to another employer because we're not even going to give you a reference so it was nice knowing you but goodbye doesn't it make you sick and doesn't it make you angry so angry that sometimes you do feel like when you see them on the cards letting out a stream of expletives to them but I'm not going to do that I'm not going to lower myself and do that I'm going to leave that to others because others are much better at bashing the cat so yeah that was me sort of um Seeing the funny side of this uh, Pillargate, these masturbation issues with the Bethelites, it's a perfectly normal thing, isn't it? You know, um, <laughs> I remember when I was growing up uh, as a teenager in Sydney, Australia, um, you know, you, you used to have, obviously, what we know is men have these wet dreams, don't they? And that's to prepare yourself for male adult lifehood. And... Um, I don't think Tony handled this situation very well. In fact, I don't think he handled a lot of situations with tact and diplomacy. And maybe, you know, they other uh, governing body members finally saw that that was the case. But um, for me, it's about finding um, something comical about your past association. I don't believe it's all doom and gloom. Uh, and and I know that if you examine your heart, you'd probably find that you had some amazing times, you know, with the associations that you had with them. So I don't believe it's all doom and gloom. I, I just can't subscribe to people that uh, make videos about it all being that, because th that isn't in the spirit of fairness, and that just does not make sense. There's no way you would have gone in to get yourself uh, baptised, or dedicate your life and baptise yourself if you was completely in the dark, you must have you must have been happy about the decision you made. So you've got to blame yourself if you know if you didn't understand what dedication means. Uh, I knew what dedication meant. I just knew that it was bloody well difficult. It was like a bar that was set at an Olympic height, and you're not an Olympic athlete. And uh, that's how I explain it. You know, for people that can no longer reach that bar. Um, I'll play the rest of the video for you. Um, it's just me doing my weights. Okay, press for 10. <laughs> Bodily training, Bethelite recruits. That will stop yawning and masturbate in the evening times, won't it? The boxing gloves and the exercise. 
that's it i've sorted you you don't need to go elsewhere now just follow this therapy and you'll be fine cheers again i say adios amigos i haven't got the accent right need to practice the accent Right, I've just stopped it there and I'll just bring it back to uh, the other videos. So it's a self reflection time, isn't it? You know, look at the first video that you did as an activist, or if you don't want to really use that phrase activist, then use a different phrase, you know, as um, a fader. So you, you look at your first video that you've done as a fader, and that's what I did. I showed you what that one was. And since then, I think I've done. I can't remember now, is it 200 and odd or something like that or 300 and odd, I can't remember. And it's only when you go through your videos, you build up a picture, don't you, of um, what you used to belong to. Yeah, that, I suppose that's how I could explain it, that each video that you do, you've either learned something new or you've supported a past fact or something that you may have believed in in the past and you've found a video to do to support that fact, to reinforce that maybe originally you were right about a certain thing. And then you'll do another video when you find a new bit of information that you didn't know. And that self-reflection is something we should all do. We should all at times get on our computers and have a look at the first video that you did and then just have a look at another one and just see how you've gone like that and changed and in my case i think it was five, six years ago yeah six years ago for the first one and then i did one the other day so that's not bad come on you don't realize you've done as many as that do you <laughs> and i did one uh, yesterday I think yeah I just wanted to have a bit of a sing and that's uh, 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 with a little message I put uh, Tony Morris's young picture in there when he was probably in the, in the Vietnam years and the song is about um, the wars of that particular 1970 period and the uprisings and everything else and uh, I do like the song it's um, it's an emotionally charged song and uh, the first Thessalonians 5 3, which you all know, is something that I expect to occur after apostasy. So I'm in anticipation of it now. Anyway, um, yeah, I've seen everybody's video about Tony Morris, and uh, yeah, what can I say? <laughs> the The world is still turning at the moment because God is, God is allowing it to turn, isn't he? He's allowing things to go on. Um, he's going to give everybody as much time as they possibly can for them to see before the start realization of the um, this sign in the sun, moon and the stars manifest itself. At that point there, I suppose the world will beat themselves into lamentation. They'll lament about what they didn't understand or what they didn't believe because at that point there, they will have that indelible evidence that uh, God exists. And that's going to be a very interesting time, especially for the atheists. They're going to be absolutely knocked sideways. Can't wait. See y'all. <laughs>